hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing this really nice soft glowy look and i created it from start to finish so you guys can see every single step and i hope you enjoy so i'm going to be starting off with a blank face and i'm going to start by moisturizing my lip with this product um, just to get them ready for makeup application then i'm going to moisturize my face with the sport effects cool down primer it does have a little bit of a tingling sensation to it so i would be careful around your eyes if you are using this product but i'm very used to it at this point and plus i have the yoruba blood in me so there's no way it's going to pip in me <laughs> so i'm going to use that as a moisturizer all over my face and then i'm going to go in with a glow product this product is from um a a company called bondi and sands it's actually for the face and the body so i do use it for my body at the end of this tutorial you're gonna see how i did that too but i'm just putting that on the places where i want to glow the most which is my forehead my nose my chin and on my cheeks so next I'm going to take my favourite foundation which is the MAC um, Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. You guys know I've been using this for years and I absolutely love it. As you can see I have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation as my neck is... Um, my neck and my face are a lot darker than the rest of my body so i like to balance the colors together so i find that this foundation is one of the only few that have helped with doing that the color is perfect for me and i just really like the way it blends out it's so flawless and it's so smooth and i really like um, applying this foundation with my beauty blender as i find it gives me a really really nice finish so i'm just going to distribute that product all over my face and also my neck as well i'm going to take it down to my neck so everything blends in really really nicely next i'm going to take my nars concealer this is in the shade caramel it is very very light but don't be alarmed because I do like to go a lot lighter with my concealer because as I said I do suffer from hyperpigmentation and this is the only way that I found for me personally that works for my skin as you guys can see my neck and my face do not align <laughs> my face is very very dark so I have to make my makeup kind of match my neck sorry my body um, so this is the way that I found works for me and these are the colors and the products that I found have worked for me nothing has really really changed in my um, routine and a lot of you have been asking for an update nothing has changed guys <laughs> like nothing at all well not that much as you can see I still use the same contour powder this powder not powder sorry I still use the same contour cream contour <laughs> so i'm just going to use a brush to apply that on my face first and then i'm going to go over the top of it with a beauty blender i really really like this brush this brush is from my kit co one of my favorite brush companies and i'm just going to apply that all over the places that i want to create a shadow so that's on the sides of my face and also on the sides of my nose and also on my chin area because girl we be getting the double chin and we don't want that so i'm just going to contour that area as well once i've placed the product on i'm going to go in with my beauty blender and i'm going to blend everything together i find that this is a really nice technique as it gives me a really really nice flawless finish oh and if you see me like randomly laughing it's because i was listening to um three shots of tequila podcast and they are hilarious so if you don't listen to that podcast and you want to laugh definitely over 18 but i love that podcast so much who else listens to podcasts when they're getting ready comment down below anyway now i'm going to contour my nose a little bit further so i'm going to take the contour um the cream contour and i'm going to take it um just where my brows are kind of into my brows and i'm going to place the highlight down the bridge of my nose once that's all blended in i'm going to take one of my favorite powders which is my laura mercier translucent powder I'm going to place it all over the places that I've highlighted. So under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, on my nose, and um, I think I believe that's it. And I know you're probably looking at this and you're probably thinking, girl, this is super light, like you look like a ghost. But sis, it's all going to work, don't worry. So I'm going to take that down my nose with my Beauty Blender. I like to apply this with my Beauty Blender as I find that gives me a really, really nice finish. Beauty Blender is like the best thing that happens like to the makeup game. So yeah, here I'm just showing you the after just so you don't have to be worried that it's going to come out ashy. It's not going to be ashy at all. The end product is going to be just fine. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my bronzing powder, which is a Sport FX, um 
bronzing powder one of my faves and i'm going to take it with my my kitco brush which is amazing because it's so big if you really really want like flawless makeup one of my top tips is definitely to use um fluffier brushes i find that fluffier brushes are really good for eat like spreading out the product and giving you a really nice even base so i like to use a really fluffy brush um for my application if you find if you've noticed i like to use like fluffy brushes to contour my nose fluffy brushes to contour my face fluffy brushes for my eyes i just really like how it distributes the products evenly on my face so i'm gonna contour my my nose with another fluffy brush <laughs> then i'm gonna go in with my mac um, skin finish powder in the shade dark and i'm gonna place this on the areas that were not set and i'm also going to use this to help um, blend the other areas into each other so they all merge nicely into each other next i'm gonna um start off with my brows and i'm gonna use this amazing product for by benefit this is the brow setter and i'm just gonna set my brows in place um and prep them for the brow products i'm gonna apply next which is one of my new faves <laughs> this is the ardell um brow liberty so good because mac have decided they wanted to discontinue the original spiked um formula this is like the next best thing and what's also good about this product it has a brush on the end which is just amazing yeah it's just amazing because you get to fill your brows in and brush them through with the same product so i'm not doing anything too extravagant with my brows i'm literally only filling in the sparse areas and i'm following the natural kind of shape of my brow so yeah next i'm gonna blush with my again nothing has changed copper tone blo blusher just to blend everything in together and to do that i'm using my um, brush from mask mask beauty and you can find them in boots um or super drug i believe so yeah and then next i'm going to clean up my eyebrows with a little bit of concealer and the concealer i'm using is the la girl concealer in the shade Ooh, I can't remember but I'm gonna leave it in the description box and then I'm gonna use my foundation the same I used on my face to kind of blend that in to the concealer so once that's blended into the concealer I'm actually gonna take my foundation again and I'm gonna use that as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm gonna apply in a second once that's done I'm gonna set that in place so nothing moves whilst I'm applying my eyeshadow so I'm going to use um, a cool tone brown as a transition colour and this brush is also from Superdrug or Boots, I can't remember, um, but it's by the brand B Beauty and I'm going to use a cool tone brown in my crease area, kind of like as a transition slash bridge, bridge colour. Then once that's done, I'm going to take a concealer again <laughs> and I'm going to put that all over where I want my lid colour to be. Um, and the star of the show today is going to be the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. And I really like this eyeshadow palette because it has such vibrant colours in it. I'm going to be taking the eyeshadow Stay Gold and Lime Time. And I'm going to use my middle finger to apply those eyeshadows. I personally like using my fingers to apply my lid colours because I find that it just gives me a better colour payoff. And it also gives me more control over the eyeshadow so i'm going to take the stay gold first and tap that on it does look a bit green but it has kind of like a limey green to it and then i'm going to use the line time over the top for more for more vibrancy then i'm going to blend everything together with nothing on my brush next i'm taking another favor of mine which is the inglot number no. 77 gel liner i'm going to take a um, mac 209 brush it's a little bit thicker than a 210 brush because i wanted the liner to be a little bit thicker on the end and a little bit thinner in the front so i thought this brush would be perfect for that i'm not applying it particularly neat and i'm not winging it out as i'm going to be smudging the liner into my shadow so i'm taking a crease brush not a crease brush sorry um a shader brush it's kind of like a dense shader brush from zoeva and i'm just going to kind of like pull the the liner into the green eyeshadow i just personally really like the look of a diffused liner lately there was a point where i loved winged liner i just find that my makeup style changes like all the time like the same way i did my brows months ago is not the same way i do them now <laughs> 
but yeah i hope you guys are watching um and learning because i'm really kind of bad at describing but i hope you kind of get the gist and kind of just pull it pull in the liner into the green eyeshadow and merging everything in together and then i'm actually going to take another shader brush like a smudge brush kind of thing this one is from laura mercier and it's a little bit thicker and i grabbed the black in that palette and i kind of just put that over the top of what we just did kind of just to help blend all the colors together so yeah once that's done, I'm going to take my fluffy brush again and I'm just going to blend through the eyeshadows just to make sure everything is looking, you know, blended in and, you know, flawless. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Inglot liner again with my 209 brush and I'm going to take that in my waterline and then I'm going to smudge that into my waterline with a shader brush. And then I'm going to add some lashes. So the lashes I'm using is from, um, they're from Makeup Island Official. I'll leave all their details below with a discount code. This is the style Ivy. They're quite dramatic, which is really good as it goes with this dramatic kind of look. If I use like more like simple lashes, it just wouldn't look right. So dramatic lashes just makes sense. And so applied that, I use my duo lash glue. Um, yeah next i'm taking two mascaras one from sport effects and the other one from urban decay for my bottom lashes i don't know what was up this day but i just didn't feel like they did much for my bottom lashes which is really weird because normally they do actually help with the length of my bottom lashes but they weren't really doing much on this day <laughs> so i went in with my tweezers and i just kind of pulled those um lashes together just to make it look a little bit more dramatic yeah that's a little tip i learned from makeup shayla just in case you're wondering so next i'm going to take the bronzer that i used on my face earlier and i'm going to use it as like a shade color for underneath my lower lash line i'm taking that on another my kit coat brush i just love their brushes and then I'm going to drench my face with a setting spray. I actually mix rose water into my setting spray as rose water um, just gives me a really, really nice glow, I find. So um, I'm going to highlight with my one of my favorite highlighters, which is the MAC. Uh, it's the Mariah Carey collection, but they still have it in stock. It's basically the golden bronze MAC um, highlighter you know how they just like to put packaging on it and call it limited edition but girl you can still get it <laughs> so i just put that on the tip of my nose with a smaller brush from zoeva on my brow bone and then i'm going to take a fluffier brush from um it's actually from morphe and i'm going to put that on my forehead my cheekbones and my chin i really really like a glow as you guys can may probably already be able to tell so i kind of go od with this but not od to the point where it looks ridiculous like i said earlier fluffier brushes help distribute your product really really nicely so the fluffier the brush the more um blended everything is going to look and the more diffused everything is going to look so next i'm taking my bronzer again just to go over the places where i find that i'm actually a little bit too shiny and just to blend everything in that doesn't look as blended and then i'm going to brush through my brows i like to do this periodically as i'm doing my makeup because i like my brows to look really really fluffy okay now lips <laughs> this is a long process guys like whenever you say oh film your makeup guys it takes a while to film anyway so now i'm taking my fenty matchstick in the shade espresso i'm just gonna, i'm gonna use that as a lip liner then i'm gonna take the lighter concealer from this sleek concealer life proof concealer thingamabob i'm gonna place that in the middle of my lips and then i'm gonna take my lip gloss from bare minerals this is in the shade yas it's actually called yas <laughs> And I'm going to use that to merge everything in together. And it just gives me a really, really nice, really nice, like, muted, pinky, brownie kind of nude, which is perfect. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to blend everything in and then I'm going to blot off the excess. And once that's done, guys, that's the look so that's the look for my face i'm going to show you how i got my body glow so going back to the product that we used earlier to prime i'm going to use that on my body to give it a little bit of a glow because i like my body glow to match that of my face so i'm just going to place that on my shoulders and i'm just going to blend that in with a makeup addiction brush yeah and i just find this product just gives me a really really nice healthy glow from within kind of glow without looking too oily next i'm going to take my sleek um highlighter elixir I really like this product as well. I'm just going to go over the top of that just to give it more of an intense look. I'm really loving how this is looking. It looks like super golden, super dewy. 
me down, Jeo. You're a team, Bebu, Poku, Poku, me down, Jeo. Oh, the idol thought you might. So now I'm going to set that in place with a loose highlighter, the one I used on my face earlier. Okay, once that's done, you should look like a glazed donut, ready to eat, scrumptious and just glowing. She'll get. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope that wasn't too much but there's no way i can fast forward everything because i want you guys to see each and every step but i really hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon bye what kind of wife would i see now if i try to try you you should feel the pain i feel now if i cry